greeting guys welcome back to another episode on your doctor diy's channel so in today's video we are going to demonstrate to you how you can boost your water outlet supply to your kitchen sink right by means of a water pump installation at the kitchen we have a very common problem these days whereby there will be a very low pressure output at your kitchen tap right so this low pressure output is very common due to the fact that the water pressure is not constant throughout the inlet and the outlet of your pipe in your house and a lot of other factors one of the main factor also could be due to the supply from the incoming of your water pipe bear in mind that the more joints you have in your pipe connection the more pressure drop you will experience and the output of the water is going to be very low so in this case the water pressure here is very low to the extent the hot water supply from this step doesn't work due to the fact that the pressure is low so for example this is a water flying hot and also room temperature water right so if i put down it's supplying normal water but when i put up you will see that now it's 41 all right and then suddenly it will off why because there is very low pressure so this guy detects there's low pressure automatically cut off okay so we do not have hot water supply now normal homes the water will be filtered at least two times the first will be at the main entrance of your house okay there you will have a large outdoor water filter so once the water goes into the main water filter system which is placed outdoor you will experience a significant pressure drop then from that water filter the water goes into the house into the tank and so forth so when the water now comes to this tank right it will also be filterized again in this case it will be filtered to a six stage filterization system and the output of the water as a result of being filtered from this unit you can straight away drink the water without boiling it okay. so when the water goes into here it goes into filter a b c d e f and then it comes out it goes here the pressure is very 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 low for example this is a pressure and you will get this pressure right to the extent you cannot even use the hot water so to overcome this now obviously we need to use a booster pump right the placement of the booster pump is very crucial you may place it outdoor you may place it indoors and so forth but remember different applications different homes different way of fixing the water pump booster if you fix outdoor and if the pump runs the tendency for you to get high pressure is still there but not too significant due to the fact that the water still need to go through a long channel through your water pipe not forgetting your water pipe there's a lot of connections such that you will have like the elbows right so when the water travel through these elbows you will have significant pressure drop and all the pipe connectors and so forth and if the water pressure is too high these elbows all if they are not strong they will all leak due to the tremendous water pressure supplied by the pump so we want to be on the safe side what we can do is to install the water pump at the place where you need to have high pressure water so in this case we are going to install the pump at this location we are going to fix the pump at this location water is going to come out from the normal water outlet goes into the filter system 
when the water is being filtered, the output of the water will go into the pump and the pump will pump out the water to the outlets needed in the kitchen. In this case, the outlets will be in two places but we are going to only pump it to the place where it's supplying hot water. In this case, we are using a pump of 100 watts. Okay, this is an electric mini pump which is powered by your house electrical power supply 240 volts and it is rated at 100 watts of power so what you get in this box basically you got a manual you will have the solenoid switch okay to cut off the water supply immediately when the pump is not in use and of course you will have the pump itself so this is the pump so this pump comes with a switch here so you can control this pump manually you can off the pump and you can also trigger the pump to act as an automatic water pump meaning which if you on the water supply it will trigger the solenoid the solenoid valve will open and water will go through the pump the pump will be triggered and the pump will supply high pressured water to the intended outlet right so this is the pump okay it is made of brass and the casing is made of stainless steel so before we install we are going to dismantle the pump and have a look at the basic construction of the pump
So I have removed this to show you how it works now. So this is the solenoid switch. So you got to put it to automatic. Okay. After putting it to automatic, so there is a kind of a cap, okay, or maybe a plate, a plastic plate, inclined at about 30 degrees. So when there is flow of water in this direction, okay, can you see the arrow? So the water is going from, just imagine the water is going from top to down. So if you on the tap, if the water goes from the water flows through here, the pump will on. Please bear in mind, most of the water filters indoors, they are using this type of hose. Okay, so the inner diameter is 4 mm. And the outer diameter is about 8 mm. Okay, so this plastic hose. So basically, this type of coupling is used to connect the hose. Just simply push the hose in. Okay, so done. This is already con considered connected. So if you want to remove it, you've got to press this blue color thing in and pull the hose out. Okay, we have done with the fixture. Now we are going to go and fix the pump to the kitchen filter. Let's go. Okay, so the pump has been fixed down. The water pump has been fixed. So, a very quick summary. The water supply from the tank is going into the filter. After getting filterized from this filter unit, it is going into the pump right so when it goes into the pump the pump will further boost the pressure and the water outlet now straight goes to the intended location where we want the pressure to be boosted which is this two in one water supply where you can supply room temperature water and also hot water so let's see now if the hot water cuts off 
when the pump is working okay so we on it by right it shouldn't cut off because it should have increment in water pressure and it should maintain its hot water supply so you can see it is 36 degrees now it's going up the pump is working okay it is working by means of automatic working principle due to the uh, solenoid switch which senses the presence of water flow so it triggers the pump to on so it doesn't off like previously so we got 62 degrees and it's increasing so this is the water supply very hot okay so as i off it the pump cuts off or the pump shuts down okay and if i on a normal water at a room temperature the pump on right so the pressure is good okay relatively good compared to the previous so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and some valuable information is presented in this video so i'm your host from dr diy's channel we do provide solutions without boundary for a better lifestyle checking out now from dr diy's channel don't forget to like and subscribe to the video wish you all the best and best regards